Hey, you want to help? Yeah, that's what I thought. What's going on everyone? So today, we're going to be working on another Ford. As you can tell, it is a Ford Ranger. Now here it is. It's a friend of mine's Ranger actually. And again, probably already what you can tell, we're going to be working on the exhaust because yeah, that doesn't look too good. And yes, they had the bungee corded up so it wasn't dragging on the ground. First thing we're gonna have to do though is cut this off right here and cut this off right here. I don't know if you saw that. Right here and right here, we're gonna cut these two pieces off to get the pipe size that we need because, let me show you here. I bought this online, it was about 35 bucks and because no parts store had this like in stock. They had the flange, just this part, but the actual pipe itself is rotted out. So I need to replace this. However, I know this isn't the right size for either side. So we're gonna cut it off, measure, go to the parts store and get the couplers that we need and start assembling everything. So I'm gonna start by cutting it off right now just with the Sawzall and a metal blade. And yes, it is snowing as you can see and we're supposed to get a few inches today. So maybe later on I'll be plowing some snow with the four wheeler. Right. So I just cut off both ends Here's this piece and here's this side. So this connected here, but this is so badly rotted that it just kind of all fell apart. So I cut this piece off just minimal as possible so I can go to the parts store and get a coupler that's going to go downsize it from this two and a quarter to I think this is one and three quarters or something. It's just too big to weld on. And this side, it turns out it's actually pretty close. It's like almost the same size. So I'm not gonna have to get a piece for this. I'm gonna just weld this to the pipe that's on the truck because, well, it's that close in size. But I will have to get a piece that downsizes from here to here. And I don't wanna drop the manifold because I can risk breaking the manifold bolts and stuff like that. So I'm gonna weld it on the truck but for now, let's go to the auto parts store, get what we need, and come right, back. Just got back from the auto parts store, and I ended up getting this coupling right here. It's a two inch inside diameter by two and a quarter outside. So basically, it will fit inside this pipe. Okay, it was fitting better at the store. But, so it basically goes inside that pipe, and then this one right here fits inside this one. There's two little tabs here, but those aren't on the rest of the pipe, so I know it'll fit in there. This way I can weld there, and I can weld there, but I'm gonna push this pipe as far in as possible, weld it, and I'm gonna weld this piece to this piece off the truck, and then go mock it up in the truck, see where it's gonna fit with this one on the other pipe, and then mark it on the well, I'll show you when I get underneath there, but first I'm going to weld this up. So let me go set up my welder, get this welded, and then we're going to go underneath the truck. All right, so I just finished up welding, and yes, again, as I say in all my welding videos, I am not the best welder, but I'm getting there because a little practice goes a long way. But it is all has penetrated, but check out this bead right here. Look at that. That's beautiful, that's like a professional. And then we get to this glob. But it's all the way through, because I can see it went all the way through to the pipe, to the other side, which means it is good, it shouldn't leak. Now we just gotta throw this up underneath the truck, mark it on this side to see where we gotta cut back the pipe some more and see where it lays up on that side. So we're gonna let it cool off before we start handling both sides of it so I don't melt my gloves to my fingers and have permanent gloves on my hands. So I'll see you guys underneath the truck. All right guys, wait, is there something? Do you guys see something on the camera or is it the screen on the camera? Well, I guess I'll see it in editing. Anyways, hopefully you can make this out depending on what it is, but I have the coupler or the adapter here on this exhaust pipe that I'm gonna weld around here. And then right here I already cut for adjustment for the uh, coupler or attachment, the splice 
junction, whatever this is called, I can't think of it right now, to adapt to the cat slash rest of the manifold pipe. So I'm gonna go get my welder set up, tack this in, tack that in, and then finish welding this, and probably hit it with a coat of paint, even though it is cold today, but just to help it from rusting. But first, I gotta clean up this pipe right here, get rid of most of the rust so I can have a clean weld. Same thing over here, clean this up with the wire wheel, and throw the pipe back on, weld everything, and we're good to go. So I'll see you guys right after I tack it All up. All right, so as you can see, I got a couple tacks here, and on the other side, same thing here, and another one on the other side. And it's holding all by itself, and it looks way better than it originally did. So now I just got to, I'm gonna wire wheel these tacks down really quick. So now I just gotta do the top, middle, down, and then top, middle, down, and then go middle, bottom, middle, up, bottom, middle, up. This way it doesn't warp anything or what have you. And then it's kind of like that crisscross pattern. So let me go do that right now. All right, well, I started cleaning up all my stuff. The welder has snow on it, so I'm gonna have to let that dry off before I pack it all away. There's all the leftover metal pieces from the exhaust that got cut off. My welding gloves are also gonna have to dry off. Now, before I show you the welds, do not judge them. Okay, you can judge them, but it's holding. I know, there's a glob right here. I might try and grind that down. But this side's actually pretty nice. Don't focus on that. Uh, yes, I'm not a professional welder, but it's holding, there's no leaks, and it sounds a whole lot better, and it looks a whole lot better than what it was. Yeah, it's pretty solid. This way, now you can always disconnect it if you need to get the muffler off or that side off, but whatever. But, it's all good. No leaks. They're good to go. So now, I'm just gonna keep cleaning up my stuff and put the truck down on the ground, and we're all set. That's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Now, next week, for my F-150, we're gonna be changing up some things on its uh, looks. So if you are subscribed to the channel, be on the lookout for that video for next week. And if you're not subscribed, I subscribe because, well, if you're here for trucks or F-150s or whatever you're here for, Maybe you're just here for, I don't even know, because you find me hysterical and you just like make fun of me. That's cool. I don't care. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. I'll see you later. Bye. I'm going to go play in the snow now with the four-wheeler, so next week's video might actually be me plowing with the four-wheeler. I don't know. Maybe it'll be Tuesday or Wednesday's video. Oh, is the mailman? All right. I got to go, guys. This truck has fallen victim to the cancer of the car world as we n call rust. Because when you live up in the Midwest and they use salt and that calcium whatever liquid f mixture on the street that I got sprayed with the other day, which I was not happy about, it just eats away. But this thing is a 97 Ranger, so the fact that it's still trucking, 